Good morning, fans, Brave Deer FX. Coming at you on uh, UK CPI Day here. It's a Wednesday, 14th of December. This is going to be the last week of heavy trading for uh, the big funds and the big players out there. People are going to close their books on Friday for the year, effectively. So we're going to have to dig in here. Um, and see where the big flows are going to go. Obviously, FOMC tonight. Um, we think they're going to raise 50. Um, we think inflation's here to stay. And the dollar is going to go higher from here. Um, but we'll see. We also have uh, ECB on Thursday. Um, let's look at uh, what happened yesterday, right? Uh, Let's go to rates. Obviously, this number was leaked. I was totally fucked uh, watching what happened in the S and P's. Um, you know, 20 seconds before the number, somebody was ramping it. Pissed me off. But one of the reasons we faded this is because this was kind of priced in, right? Everyone, oh, everyone's been talking about like dovish Fed and and pause and inflation is under control. But if you take a step back from like, you know, two feet away, inflation is not really under control, right? Inflation is still way too high. Uh, I don't think we we have any end in sight to this. This is just going to things are going to just remain inflated. Um, energy is, is just going to lead the way. And problems with the supply chain are going to continue out of China. I mean, there's a million reasons why... Um, inflation is going to stay so we faded this uh, as you guys saw on Twitter we faded uh, rates down at 343 just a day trade um, we squared that up at 350 uh, and we faded dollar Swiss down at 9240 same thing just a day trade um, we do think today you know we're obviously not going to go into FOMC with a position um, but you could see a big snapback, right? Because, I mean, the reality is U.S. rates are going to be well above four. What's that going to mean for dollar Swiss? What's that going to mean for dollar yen? I don't really care about um, how the market is pricing rates uh, at the end of 2023. I do care about going into the end of the year, there's going to be a 4% carry in dollar yen. Um, there's going to be a 3% carry in dollar Swiss. There's going to be a 3% carry in dollar Swiss. And it's trading at 93 cents on the lower end of the bound. So let's take a look at let's take a look at the monthlies in dollar Swiss. Don't often pull up a monthly chart, but let's just do it, right? So you can see the range in dollar Swiss is basically 102, 92, whatever. It, fl it blips down to 88 or blips down to 89 briefly, uh, and then snaps back higher. So we're on the low end of this range. Um, look at that trend line. Um, it's nice on the monthlies, a bit messy on the dailies. Um, and so we like to try and pick some of this stuff up uh, on extensions. So, you know, it's a little bit early. You can't leave a 90 cent stop here. But depending on the day and depending how rates are moving and what price action looks like, we like buying low ones in dollar Swiss. Today we have uh, UK CPI. Um, well, here are the monthlies in cable. Look at that. It's an interesting month, down to 03. Uh, anyway, we have cable uh, CPI today. Right now, it, we set up to be a, have a perfect pivot here. The old high was 123.44. The high yesterday was 123.42. Um, if CP, CPI comes in soft, this is your obviously bull bear pivot. Uh, it's going to be dicey and impossible to trade if we're trading at 57 or 60. Um, but, you know, we'll just have to use that as the pivot, you know, after the release. So say it comes in soft, figures given. <clears throat> On the little mini bounce up to 2025, 20, you might want to slap that. Uh, and if this thing comes in, comes in strong, uh, we suggest Euro Sterling is your horse. Yesterday, 
It was down all day, but then at the end of the day, it popped right back up. So down to 60 uh, and up to 10. Weird, weird day, uh, Euro Sterling. Uh, and a bullish, bullish bar. We've made a new high today already. Um, but if this comes in super hot, we have a whole sort of confluence of, of stuff down here. We have like five or six daily lows. We have your 200 day, um, which is, at, at, let's call it 50. Um, so if this thing comes in hot, we're going to be looking to sell uh, Euro Sterling. If it comes in soft, we're going to be looking to sell cable. Um, after we get the CPI, which is in an hour and 15 minutes, we should just sort of loll around and range trade. I don't really see anything of interest on the calendar. Um, no, nothing of interest on the calendar. We do have Aussie unemployment um, after FOMC, so that'll be late uh, overnight in Europe uh, for those of you who are running some Aussie positions. The rest of the charts, they're all pretty much the same, right? Euro made a high and then came and crawled back. The high in Euro was, what, 70? What was the high? 73. The high in Euro cable was 124.50. 124.44 dollar Swiss 92.33. These lows are all important. Um, certainly on a next visit down there, you can be patient, right? And maybe look or hope for some sort of double bottom. Uh, but look to scoop. Uh, our our horse is going to be. We're going to be look to scoop cheap ones in dollar Swiss, um, and that'll be good. Euro yet uh, Euro CAD. We were short kind of took it in the ass in this, right? So we had this really bearish day two days ago yesterday. It, EuroCAD just got dragged higher uh, by the Euro move. Don't really know why. Just fucking annoying, right? So we're short this thing. Our average now is around 144.50. Um, but it doesn't look great. Looks like we're going to have to, you know, cut out of that. Uh, but we'll see. We, we got some time and movement. The reason I'm pissed off that Eurocast is not higher is we called oil higher on Sunday. Um, 70.20 was the low. Yesterday we traded up to 76.50. Um, do I own any oil contracts even though I called it higher? No. Why don't I do that? Because I'm a dumbass. Uh, and I'm trading some fucking correlation douche um, with Eurocad. So that's fairly annoying. 10% move in the futures market. Uh, and my so-called correlated FX pair has done dick. Um, so yay, yay, for, yay for me. Let's take a look at stocks here. Printed basically the same exact high um, as September 141.80. Did not like it up there. And I'm glad, right? Because whoever was front running that shit at 41.10, 41.15, I hope they didn't get any out. Uh, and I hope their stock fucking long and are crying in their soup because um, it's just unfair when you see these guys getting numbers in advance and front running shit um, that's illegal and for those of us who are grinding and trying to fucking make a living out of this for 30 years it just pisses me off um, anyway this is a very very important high 4180 probably going to be the high for the year uh, we do like uh, equities to turn now. Aussie, interesting, came up to the 200 day, couldn't quite break it. Um, we got friends in Chicago who were sellers of this up at 90 at, after the fix, or actually 84 at the, after the fix. That proved to be quite clever. If equities go lower and if Powell comes and says, hey, listen, we did 50, but we're going to do another 50 and we're going to do another 50. Uh, and the terminal rate's going to be like six. Um, the dollar's going to get bought. Aussie can really snap back pretty hard. That was a big 2% move in Aussie. Um, but now it looks vulnerable, in my humble opinion. Not much else out there to really speak of. 
all these crosses are doing really nothing. <laughs> Let's just look at Euro Swiss. Fucking cunt. Um, we talked about yesterday how Euro Swiss often, when, when Euro goes screaming higher, Euro Swiss also goes higher. So it cushions the blow in Dollar Swiss. What the hell was this, right? So this is Euro Swiss. It's, it's 98.60 at the, at the release. Sure enough, Euro screams, screams higher. Euro Swiss goes up to 99.03. If you were paying attention, there was a huge bid at 93 cents in uh, Dollar Swiss. Uh, and so that's why Euro Swiss uh, punched higher. But once that bid got given, you expect it maybe it comes back down to 70, but you don't expect it to go to 98.33. Like, that's a 70 point range in, in Euro Swiss, which really doesn't really range at all. And then, of course, one of the reasons we were buying Dollar Swiss is we knew Euro Swiss was going to kind of snap back and just end up where it started, which is what it always does. But, like, that was just so ridiculous. And as we were scooping some Dollar Swiss, Euro Swiss was just pounding the lows. And I was just like, really? Isn't this always the way, right? Uh, but in the end, it worked out. But it's just so funny, fucking Euro Swiss. Anyway, uh, feels like I'm cursing a lot today, which I don't give a rat's ass about. But um, that's all I got. Uh, if uh, CPI in UK is hot, we're sellers of Euro Sterling. If CPI in UK is cold, we're going to try and slap cable. Um, and then we wait for FOMC. Good luck out there, people. Try and make some dough today because you know what? You deserve it. Ciao.